Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pepper channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing something that I got from the freezer section of a Kroger brand uh, store. This particular store was food for less, but Kroger owns plenty. They own their Ralph's, Mariano's, and food for less and others. But Kroger's currently has uh, some type of exclusivity with this product. And this is um, a new frozen food product from the White Castle Corporation. And you know, you can get their frozen sliders. I think you can get their frozen chicken rings now in both regular and spicy. Um, but this is the first time White Castle has come out with a frozen item that they don't necessarily sell at a regular White Castle restaurant. That are this White Castle Cheeseburger Castle Bites. These also come in regular hamburger versions without the cheese as well. Um, they come in these large packs, but they also come in smaller packs. I did not see any of the smaller packs uh, when I went to the store, or else I would have gotten them. But I wanted to do the review regardless, so I got the big pack. This is, I believe, a 40 ounce. Yeah. 40 ounce, two pound bag of White Castle Castle Bites, cheeseburger Castle Bites. And this is considered a party pack. So let's say you're having a party. You can uh, do like an all White Castle theme party, get like a big slider uh, pack, but also have these as like hors d'oeuvres, which were the main course of sliders. And these say they're made with 100% beef, real American cheese, not the fake American cheese and onions wrapped in a delicious golden crust so really the only thing that's missing here is the pickles just like the frozen sliders don't have pickles um what are you gonna do you gonna like put like a separate package of pickles inside here that are frozen and then you have to thaw them out and add them yourself or i don't know how you would even do that with a, with a bite like this but 425 in the oven for eight to nine minutes. They come out looking like this. Um, I think I only had one that was leaking at all. It was just the slightest bit of a leakage. I'm gonna move this to the side so I can go ahead and try these. They kind of look like the Tostinos pizza rolls. Um, I don't think they are made by Tostinos. They're distributed by Felicio Foods. In Minneapolis. Uh, White Castle trademarks are owned by White Castle Corporation. Uh, Blissio Foods. Maybe I'll Google Blissio Foods and see if they're owned by uh, Tosinos. Blissio Foods. Quality frozen foods. Uh, they make Michelinas, they make Boston Market, Adkins, Quest. Authentic Asia Canyon Kitchen and Eating Well. So, no, not Tostinos. But somebody that already makes other frozen foods. Anyway, let's go ahead and taste these. Um, they've been uh, going a little bit slow because I just brought them out of the oven and I don't want to necessarily. Uh, destroy the interior of the mouth with these. Here we go. The White Castle Castle Bites Cheeseburger Edition. This what they look like on the middle. The goopy, meaty, cheesy, oniony mess. You know what this tastes like? The White Castle Slider. Mm. It's got that same steamed onion beef mixture flavor to it. I do recommend 
if it's over or something, because every time I take a bite, the seams break. The interiors try to escape from the side. Hmm. These are actually quite good. I just cook these in a regular non convection oven. I assume you put these in the air fryer if you want to, or deep fry them if you want to, but coming out of a regular oven, they have a nice, not crunchy, but crisp exterior. The interior is moist and tasty. I'm going to give these a thumbs up. So, crispy crust, real beef, real cheese, inspired by one of the kind of tastes of Red Castle. Well, that inspired taste, I gotta say, is very accurate. Now, it's not going to be the same experience, of course, of eating a fresh, newly made slider from Red Castle, but sweaty oniony beefy flavor if you like that um seep it into the the bun oniony beefy cheesy aromas you're gonna like these they taste more than inspired by they taste very accurate to the flavor of a white castle slider maybe you get a jar of some like uh Pickle slices, and like place them on there. You can put like a, a pickle slice, a pickle chip, and like a toothpick, and like put them on a plate and walk around handing them out to people like hors d'oeuvres to look fancy. Um, yeah, that would be a, one thing you could do. But anyway, the white castle castle bites from uh, Delicio Foods Incorporated. And the White Castle Corporation. Two thumbs up. I like them. They get the fat hipster recommendation. If you are um, in a city that has any Kroger branded uh, um, grocery store, um, you you should know because like all the gro the Kroger brand grocery stores still sell Kroger branded uh, uh, generics. Um, so if you're like in Chicago, like me. We both have Mariano's and Food for Less, and they will both, you can find, uh, you know, milk and other items that have a Kroger branding on them, even though the store is not Kroger. Um, Kroger owns them all, so they only have one like, generic brand that goes with all of them. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of these, and if you uh, also want to, that's where you need to go. Kroger store. Definitely recommend it you try them out as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. But until then, bye for now.